how the conditions are right now in Bonita Springs. Well, Chris, that's what I exactly right. We were talking earlier. We were just up the road at the gas station. And I was mentioning how many vehicles we're seeing. This wasn't here 10 minutes ago when we were driving down Bonita Beach Road. You can see right now a vehicle has crashed into that car. It looks like someone's checking to see if anyone's inside. We had already done that. There was nobody inside, but there was somebody who had passed by Chris and Amy. And I said, hey, did you see any of this happen? And he said, no, I didn't see it happen. But I did see the people who were in the vehicle get out and get picked up by somebody. So not sure what the injuries are, what the extent is. But this points to what we've been telling people and what a, a county official, city and state officials have been saying, and that's to stay off the roads if you can. That's why I'm standing here and not on that sidewalk. Because if my photographer, Karen Deardorff, can show you, do you see those palms floating down the street? That's forcing cars to now dip and dodge and make their way around. And the other thing you don't want to do is you have these two cars now standing in the uh, park in the middle of the lane, possibly causing another traffic situation if they don't get a move on. Thankfully, it looks like they're starting to make their way down. But again, I was talking about the conditions with Chris and Amy when we were driving on Bonita Beach Road. And I was saying that along with the amount of water that's on the road at this time, these palms and these parts of these limbs are also flying off of these trees and creating dangerous situations for anyone that could be driving down this road at this time. Again, if you're just joining in and you're seeing this for the first time, the person or people that were involved in this accident are no longer in the vehicle. Uh, somebody who was passing by told me they did not see the accident, but they did see the people who were involved get out of the vehicle and get picked up by another vehicle. This happened within the last 30 minutes. We were on Bonita Beach Road, which is what you're looking at right now, traveling down to the racetrack, and this vehicle wasn't here 30 minutes ago. And as we were trying to make our way now back down to Bonita Beach, me and my photographer, Karen Deardoff, we came across this vehicle and I thought it'd be a good time right now to remind people that we are asking, uh, along with city and county officials, that you stay here and you stay home and you try to avoid being on the road because along with flood conditions, you can also see that accidents can happen. I mean, this vehicle looks pretty damaged at this point. Then we haven't seen any emergency officials, Chris and Amy, either. And that's one thing we heard from city and county is that right now they're not able to get out here and take care of situations like this. So whether or not they show up, I haven't been able to contact law enforcement to get that answer. And I will do so once I get off air with you guys.